Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin Reed Makes, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use this amazing new bundle from Zyron, two sticker makers, a mega runner, lot of fun shaped tags in a variety of different colors. These are all two from tags, and I'm gonna show you five different ways that you can upcycle everyday items and turn them into amazing gift wrap. Best part is this bundle is a giveaway. I actually have two of them as a giveaway. Leave a comment on what is your favorite way to upcycle to gift wrap, and I'm gonna show you five ways right now. So for the first ornament, I took a sheet of paper, cut it down to fit the size of, and this is not a toilet paper roll. <laughs> this is actually a cut, and you can see I did have a direct cut from a paper towel roll, so it's a little more sanitary. It's not sitting in the bathroom. And I did it a little bit longer. So this is about five inches, and I made mine five and a half inches. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through and add a ton of adhesive, and just kind of do the whole thing it's gonna get ripped into anyway. And so I'm just using my Mega Runner, which is part of the kit. It is so awesome. And I am going to roll, haha, <laughs> roll. <laughs> I love that. Roll the entire thing, it doesn't have to be perfect, in the paper. So this is why you wanna get the entire, all the entire section. Make sure you rub down this really, really well. There we go. And so now you have the beautiful pattern paper on the outside and you have this beautiful cylinder. I have one of the labels that's from the set and I picked a blue and went with blue colors. So you can kind of mix and match all the fun colors that are on here. And this is to dad from Aaron. Now to add a little something extra, I have this beautiful die. This die has come from TLC Designs. This is the butterfly rectangular frame, but there's a little pretty oval that fit right inside of here. And I absolutely loved it because it fit the oval of the tag perfectly. So I'm just gonna run this through this light blue paper. So now I have my three inch sticker maker. This comes in the set as well. I mean, seriously, the only thing you need to do to make and label any of these presents, these fun upcycle present ideas, is some paper and the upcycled items. It is so stinking simple. So you run your items in there, rip, Rub, rub, rub to make sure everything turns into a beautiful sticker. And then I'm gonna pull off the tag and place that on here, just like that. And then I'm gonna pull this whole tag off like this, and this whole thing is a sticker now. And I'm just gonna place this on one side. It does not matter what side. Everything is a sticker. And I'm almost, I kind of like the idea that this pops up right here because it just adds a little more dimension. Um, if you really want it to stick, you can really push it down if you want to. It depends on how sticky you want it, but I like it kind of flared up. And then, stapler. <laughs> so you're gonna get a stapler and just line up the edge and add one staple, two staple. There it is. Pop your present inside of here, whatever present it happens to be. You can pick whatever you like. And now you could either choose to staple it so it's the same direction, or we're actually going to staple it so it goes the opposite direction. So we're making kind of a fun shape here, something a little bit different. So we're gonna go staple, and staple. Remember, don't forget to put your present in first. I'm just showing you ideas, but present will obviously go in there. Your tag is on the front, which is really cute. Here's a fun couple of ideas. For this one, I did the exact same thing. I just changed up the colors of the papers and changed up the colors of the tag. All right, let's do another one. This next one is super simple. It is using a upcycled Pringles can. I love the little short ones because you can put cookies in there, you can put party mix, you can really put any homemade goodie, or you can put a gift card. I mean, you really can just put about anything you want in there. Make sure you clean the inside really well because you never know who's allergic to what. And a little, a little bit of soap and water, maybe a Clorox wipe. And then I am going to run my tape measure, or my tape runner all the way along the edge here really get all the way to that edge. And I am using an adorn it paper set here. So my paper sets and all the supplies I'm using are gonna be down in the information section. So make sure you go check that out. Put your paper on the correct direction. <laughs> so use the right direction for this. And so as long as you've added sticky and really just have to do the perimeter. Uh, if you just misalign it just a tiny bit like I did, it's gonna come out looking a little funny. So make sure you line it up just right. Go all the way around, all the way around, there we go. And I like doing the full 12 inches of this because then you're overlapping just a tiny, tiny bit and it works a lot better. I have also cut a strip of another sheet of paper of which, again, 
use your mega runner. And I like adding this to the center here. So I move over just a little bit and we're gonna go right down the middle. It's like a belly band. And same thing, make sure you line it up. And if you line it up just right, like I just did, which was awesome. I took a die from the TLC Designs Happy Dragonfly Circle. This little die set fit right here, but it was the perfect size for one of these circle tags. We're gonna run the bigger circle, which I run out of craft paper through here. And it fits awesome because this thing can fit up to three inches. Put the smaller tag in there. There we go. And then place the smaller, I love layering my tags. I just think it adds a little bit of something when you do, there we go. Just that little bit of extra and out. The back side is here. I don't want to put my label on the back side. I'm going to leave that as the back back. And so I'm going to go all the way to the other side, place my label on the front. And you could have it pop up, but I really want it to fit snug and tight. And then you can put your lid back on. Here's another one I made that's just a little bit of a different color. Same design. I just used red paper and green with one of the green tags, but exactly the same scenario and labeled the tags. And then you can fit so many fun things inside of these Pringles cans. All right, let's make another one. All right, this next one is all about using a jar. So any kind of jar will work. You can use one of the mason jars. You can use a marinara jar, whatever. Jars are amazing for gift giving. So for this one, I just put a bunch of candies in to show you how you could stuff it. But you could put a bunch of crinkle paper in a gift card. You could put money inside of it. You could put, obviously, homemade jam, any kind of homemade preserves or anything else that you homemade. But whatever you want to put in there there you go but let's decorate it so the first thing i did is i went and die cut a sheet of green paper with this really really cute die that is coming from the tlc dies this is the daisy frame die and it's the smallest one on here and there are so many cool dies are here and so i did die cut that out already i made my little label using the tags from the xyron bundle i'm going to place this right in the center here just using the mega runner to kind of stick it on here. And then I have a punch. So this is just a hole punch. There we go, lift it up. I didn't want to pick up. Punch right here, super simple. Now I'm just gonna take some twine. This is like a really thick, really pretty kind of, you could do raffia, twine, any kind of ribbon, really whatever strikes your fancy. And I am going to string this through. So because this is a little thicker, I'm gonna double, kind of like bunch it up here in the center. You could just use plain old rope, twine, baker's thread, whatever you like. And I'm gonna tie a bow for this one. So just a really pretty little bow. And you gotta fix it so it's, it's just perfect. This is just a super simple little gift giving idea. The, the best one I've seen that's using a jar is one where it's like cookies in a mix where you have like your baking powder, your baking soda, your sugar, your flour, your chocolate chips, your brown sugar, everything is in here. All you have to do is add your eggs and you mix and you bake your cookies, which is super, super simple and a little bit of butter usually too. And the recipe is usually on the tag. I remember I got given a gift like that when I was teaching and they made a whole bunch of these and every teacher got one of these, which I thought was just the best gift ever. So I took paper, punched out hearts, ran them through my sticker maker here, placed the hearts on the jar, used a dauber with some just acrylic paint and white, daubed it all over, pulled the stickers off, these little three little hearts, so that way they wouldn't stick to here, let it dry, and now you have this really sweet jar that's got this kind of, it's all painted, so it's really pretty. And the design left behind, and you could do whatever design. You could do snowflakes, hearts, you could do, I mean, you could do a Christmas tree if you had a cricket or something, all kinds of fun things. And again, add that little label, and then your twine at the top, and then you can fill this with whatever you like. It's another fun upcycled gift wrapping idea that you can use that has so many possibilities of what you can put inside of it, from food to gifts to gift cards, and you name it. All right, let's do another one. So this was a little box that is awesome. Um, it actually has a little hanger already on it. I think it had some jewelry in it at some point. And we're gonna cover it up with a little bit of some of the papers that we've already used from Adorn It. So use our Xyron Mega Runner, add, this to the front, look at that, how easy. So I'm kind of covering up where it was already like a little, my mother actually wrote that on there. She made it so that my kids, it said to mom and it had something for like a Mother's Day, but my mother's the one who bought it for me. So 
It's kind of cute. I, I really loved it. It was like a necklace. It was adorable. And so now I'm adding the tag on the front. And so I'm doing the same thing to my mom from my son, Brandon. And I love it because this is a little box that already has like a built-in little something. So you could hang this from the tree and you could put a gift card or money or something small inside of it. And it would be totally awesome. So look at the boxes that you got from jewelry, other gifts, and just think that if you put a little bit of paper and a tag on it, you could totally repurpose it. All right, this next box box is totally cool as well. So this is just an empty box that you could put so many things inside of. So I'm leaving it up to your imagination of what you want to put inside your boxes. And I found a long time ago, and I've hung on to it forever, there was all these rolls of these ribbons that were a dollar from Target eons ago. I had about a foot and a half of the ribbon per roll. So there's not a whole lot in these little suckers, which is why it's a dollar, but they're pretty. So what we're gonna do is you would fill your box. I love this box because it's already white. It's pretty. You could cover it with paper, but you don't have to. There's nothing wrong with this box at all. I'm just adding, guess what? You can add your Zyron make tape runner to your ribbon. Look at that. And I've just re-stuck it together. Easy. I have a whole drawer full of a whole bunch of different stuff adds an adhesive again there that I just repurposed for whatever reason. So now I have the top of my box, super cute, right? I'm gonna take my label again and my box. I'm going to punch another one of the labels that come from the bundle. <laughs> Couldn't punch a hole. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to run this underneath of the two ribbons and it's gonna kind of hold the two ribbons together. So just slide my twine. Twine is so versatile. Oh my God, it's like probably one of my favorite ribbons of any kind because you can use it for anything. Any season of the year, it's awesome. And I like going a little bit bigger than the normal. Using a little bit more than I need to because it just adds to the funness of the whole thing. So run my twine through here. And then just a really pretty long bow. Let it dangle down. I probably went a little too big, but you know what? It's kind of cool that you have this extra long tags and like just, it's just really cool. I mean, look how pretty that is. It's a white box, but you could use any color box. And if it's a box color that you're not a big fan of, you can cover it up with paper and then put your ribbon on it. Or you can even paint it if you wanted to. So the fourth idea is taking a box that you already have, repurposing with a little bit of paper to cover up anything that might already be a boo-boo, a little bit of tag on the front, or take a box and add some ribbons to it and relabel it. And it's super easy to use. Let's do our last one. All right, the last one is probably the easiest of all. Take a bag that you probably F upcycled. I, this was a gift bag that I got from way back when. Upcycle some of the tissue paper you've been hoarding in your house. Take a tag, a hole punch it somewhere in the corner. Boop. Take your twine, wrap it around your bag. Super simple, tie your first knot. Take your tag, wrap it around there. And this is what makes it just a little bit extra. You're adding the tag, the little bow. You can use whatever ribbon you want. That little extra bow on here with that craft is just really stunning. And then pick a colored tissue paper. This bag specifically, because it has the white dots, the colored tissue paper really makes a difference. Add it to the top, super simple. Has a to and from. You can also, here's the best part. This can be undone, pull the tag off, and you can reuse this bag as long as it does not get ripped or damaged, so. Yay. Here is another version of a bag. These bags, I got 50 of them on Amazon, super cheap. Uh, it's just super plain. I added white on the top and just a little bit of a different tag. So simple for Christmas. You cannot beat this. So thank you, thank you so much for joining me and learning how to use all these amazing items from Pringles cans to paper towel rolls to mason jars or really any jars boxes and bags, any kind of leftover or upcycled bags. These are all upcycled items. These are all items that you may have been given or you may have used and you can turn them into something a little bit different so that you can then turn around and use them for gifts. And don't forget to leave a comment on here about what is your favorite thing to upcycle to reuse in your craftiness or even for gift giving, that works too. And you have your chance to win your own Zyron bundle, which includes all the gift tags that you saw, plus so many more, a Zyron Maker Runner and two sticker makers, which you cannot beat. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button for further notifications, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye, everybody.